So welcome to We Figure This Out. In this little series of videos, we're going to talk about things we sell in a store that we may not know a lot about and you may not know a lot about. So together, we're going to figure it out through research and trial and error. In three, two, one. Hello, in this installment of We Figure It Out, we just want to have a quick talk about a product that you may not be aware of that we weren't fully aware of. It's a product called Revel Color Stop. You may have seen the bottle out on the shelf in the store there. Now, if you read this thing, it says top coat finish. Now, to me, that would mean it'd be like a clear coat or something, right? No, it's not. It is a masking fluid. So color stop really refers to the ability to stop paint from being in an area, i.e. a mask. And it is a liquid form of mask. So liquid masks are pretty popular. People ask for them all the time. When we open the bottle, you know, you can see inside. It, it reminds me of the Humbrol mask all in that it's a latex type mask. So there's a little bit of dry on the top there and you can see it's very stretchy, very latexy. So you would paint this stuff on wet, let it dry, then you would paint over it. And then when your paint is dry, you just simply remove this either with an eraser, a pair of tweezers, or, you know, just get your little exacto knife under there and get it started and then peel it. And it should just peel right off and take the paint off. So this is good for canopies and uh, hard line masks that you may occasionally need to do. So just to make it all clear, again, it's Revel Color Stop. I'll get out of the picture so it focuses. Looks in a bottle like that, and it is actually a new type of liquid mask. I would equate it to a product like uh, Mascol from Umbral, and then it's that, got that latexy rubber kind of finish. So I think people will find it very popular, and if you weren't aware, that's what Color Stop was. You are now. So uh, thank you for helping us figure it out. Uh, we look forward to doing more of these. Please leave your comments below. Have you used the product? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Good, bad, or ugly? Tell us how you feel. And if there's things you'd like to see us review or talk about or explain, please leave those in the comments below as well, because if we all figure it out together, we all become better hobbyists. Thanks for watching.